Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how you can differentiate numerically in Python with the help of the NumPy library. So I have some imports over here. I got NumPy imported as NP and I also have matplotlib.pyplot imported as PLT. And this is the, and this is just a directive specific to the environment I'm using, which is Jupyter Lab. So let's just run this cell. And over here, I have uh, my DX, which is um, the step size with respect to the, the X axis, you would say, the horizontal axis. And also, I have an array generated here uh, using the a range function. So it starts from zero and the final value is 10, uh, but uh, I have to include uh, the dx the here because otherwise it wouldn't include this upper bound here. And the x is the step that I'm using. And based on the x, I then calculate y, which in this case is just um, a sine function. So we should be getting the graph of the sine function. So let's just run this as we can see it's here. You could also use instead of a range, you could uh, use something called lin space. Lin space. And then you would specify the uh, starting point, the end point in this case would be 10 and also you could specify the number of elements in total so then you wouldn't have dx but in this case you could simply get it by subtracting let's say from the second value the the first value here yeah so the result should be similar. So in the case of lin space, you specify the start point, the end point and the total number of elements. So it gives you more control over how many elements you obtain. Okay, so this is the graph of the function. And what we do now, um, maybe let's just remove this for for now. Basically, when we differentiate numerically, uh, the easiest thing we could do is to calculate the difference between the consecutive uh, elements of the array of the input array so this means you would have basically uh, in this case uh, y1 minus y0 then you would have y Two minus y one, and then y three minus y two, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, um, if we have, let's say, oh, let's check how many elements we have here. So if we have one hundred and one elements here, then after this uh, numerical differentiation, we're gonna have uh, only 100 because uh, there are only so many uh, you know finite differences between those consecutive values and also divided by the x which is like the step along the x-axis of course if we were dealing with like you know time signals for example instead of the x we would probably have something like dt to signify that it happens within the realm of time so we would have dt here, right? Okay, so, so here we specify it as t. So pretty much the same idea. Let's go back to dx. So we're focusing more on the shape rather than this time dimension. Okay, and since, as you can see, we get one x, uh, oh, we don't have as many elements as before after differentiation, 
And if we wanted to use the same array to plot our resulting data, we have to, you know, kind of make up for <laughs> the element that we lost. So in this case, I have this helper function here called interpolate, which basically takes an array and it, you know, adjusts it to a specific number of elements by, for example, if, if it's supposed to be longer than it, add some elements in between. So I'm not really going to focus on this uh, function as much, but that's the idea of what it's doing. So let's run this. We have this differentiation here as, and let's check how many uh, elements are there. As you can see, 100 elements. So now um, I have to interpolate this to accommodate it to the old X axis so I can plot those two together. So I can plot uh, Y dot or the first derivative you would say against X. So, um, okay, I didn't run the cell. Now it should work. And as you can see, you get the graph of the cosine function, which would be what we normally expect in this case. <clears throat> but the nice thing about uh, numerical differentiation is that you're basically working on the set of input values. You don't really have to know what, um, you know, equation or uh, what formula describes the original function. So you don't really have to know uh, the original function in order to be able to differentiate numerically and you get like an approximation of the resulting function which in this case is cosine and of course if your um, step is you know small enough then any data loss is almost negligible in your case or it will be uh, very very small so in this case we have 1000 values so it's not going to matter all that much, even if we interpolate it. So, of course, we could do it one more time to get, you know, uh, uh, our derivative the second time. So let's say y dot dot, and we're going to differentiate yd with respect to dx. And of course, uh, in this case, Again, we have uh, to account for that value that we lost. So we interpolate again. So let's do that over here. And again, we can basically grab this and plot it here again, as, as we would expect the derivative of cosine is minus sine and it looks just like that so there you go it's pretty easy just you know the basic idea and can be pretty powerful especially when you're performing some kind of maybe sim simulation on some finite set of input data so hope you like this video if you do uh, like it, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. So that's all for now and hope to see you next time. Bye.